Hey everybody and welcome back to another Residential Rabbits video. Um, today is just sort of a checkup um, and I'm going to show you the rabbits we have um, because I haven't uploaded in like two or three months which is crazy but I've been taking a little break um, for quarantine and just kind of trying to find out what I'm going to do for this channel but uh, I'm going to try to start uploading two to three times a week um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. First, I just want to show you a couple of the rabbits we have. These are some newer ones. Um, so, I don't remember if I showed you, but we had a clutch that are this size now. That one right there is the original, one of the original clutch members, I guess I should say. That one too. That little mixed one. This one right here. And I don't know if you could tell, but the size of that cooler compared to her, she's pretty big. And she's not the biggest. That gray one is the original clutch that the black mama had. So, I believe the last video I uploaded, I planted some Swiss chard to grow for the rabbits and for our use as well. And um, to be completely honest, it was so hot out here and uh, everything just didn't make it. You know, we tried planting a lot of stuff and it's not making it. But I planted some more and we're keeping it inside um, for a little bit with light on it and we're going to try to keep it cool until it has uh, roots that it can actually get water from the ground to survive. These little rabbits are coming up to me and they're like trying to get food because they're probably hungry. Uh, I haven't fed them today, I don't know if someone else has but I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of food because I don't see any right here. Okay, so what we got going here is this big pipe going up and uh, a little tray at the bottom. And this is a feeder. We went out of town for a couple days, and uh, we needed a way to have them eat food. Um, we needed some way for them to get some food. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up so that they can have some food. Okay, I have this bag of rabbit pellets right here. Um, I don't know if it's going to... There's not a lot in this uh, bag left, so I'm going to go ahead and try to pour the rest of this bag into this pipe. I decided that's not a good plan because it's going to spill everywhere, so give me one sec. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I found this cup and I kind of bent it so that it would pour easier. Um, so I'm going to just do a time lapse. So as you can see, they're all coming up. This one's freaking in the food. Hey, get out of there. So, uh, hey, get out of the food, whatever. Anyway, pretty much they're all coming over to eat. And uh, yeah, pipe works. So when when the little hole that is uh, at the bottom, when when the, they eat enough food that it you know it has enough room for more food to come out, it'll fall down the pipe and eventually come out at the bottom. So that's the feeder, at least the first little bit for now. We just got zip ties and rope tied around it to keep it straight, but um, yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little chunk of this off, a little layer of that off. And that is what I'm gonna give to the rabbits this morning. Well, really this afternoon. Okay, so, ow, okay. So it's really sunny out here. As you can see, this is where we normally put the food, but I think the best spot is out here, sort of more in the shade. And I'll uh, go ahead and rip that out. Okay, so we already got a bunch of rabbits eating the hay. They're all good, they're in the shade, but I'm gonna fix up their water dish and make sure that they're all good. Okay, so we kind of have this concrete mixer. Uh, it's just this little black tray and uh, we used that when we were gone for the couple days. Uh, we filled it up with water all the way. Um, but then, we, because we turned off our water, so over there, this little hose right here leaks into that water. So that thing's pretty much always full. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean both of them out and wash them both down uh, with the hose and then fill them both back up.
Okay, so the blue saucer, uh, that's actually a sled. Um, we filled it up. Um, it's pretty good. I just put it a little bit further back uh, in the yard because I want to be able to clean up that area along the house um, and just make it nice and cool and just perfect for these rabbits. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the mixer, the concrete mixer thing. As you can see, this whole side is kind of just a mess. It's kind of makeshift, just trying to cool them off. And it's really wet because that hose leaks like all the time. But um, that's actually not a bad thing because uh, it keeps the ground moist and easy to dig. As you can see, there's a hole in the ground right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this uh, whole section and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Thing I'm gonna do is get these doors out of the way and uh, try to get that hose all taken care of because it's really just in the way and making a mess and we gotta clean it up. Look who I got with me. <laughs> Little cute, just let me pick it up. Look at those white toes. Okay, so I got pretty much everything raked up, sorted it up, you know, out of the way. Now I'm gonna water this whole thing down. I'm gonna try to not to get as much water in that hole as possible because I don't want to drain it out. But um, I'm gonna water this whole thing down so it gets nice and moist and nice and cool. And uh, then we'll give it a little bit to sort of soak into the ground. Okay, so I pretty much soaked this entire section. As you can see, it's darker and it's pretty wet. So um, I tried not to get as much water in that hole as possible. I don't think a lot got in, um, but it's nice and moist under there in that hole anyway. So. This extra water will just help it stay moist and help it uh, get easier to, to dig and stuff over here. So I'm gonna give it a bit to sort of soak into the ground. I could just tell that these rabbits started loving that it was so nice and cool for them because it's so hot out here and uh, we've been having trouble with um, having clutches survive in the heat. So. Um, this gives us a greater chance to have clutches survive in the heat um, because they'll be able to dig underground and be perfectly fine. 